This time on What's New at DXE, new CW keys, SWR meters, antennas, and a whole lot more. Welcome back to the DX Engineering Channel. I'm Michael, KI8R. We've added so many new items that I couldn't fit everything in my last video, so I'm back with round two of What's New at DXE. So let's get started with new CW keys. GHD had several new keys, including the GF502 QD Sideswiper key. This key features a heavy chrome base with dual contacts. Now, if you've never used a QD key, which again is sometimes called a Sideswiper, they are sort of like a straight key turned on its side. They can twist your brain trying to learn how to use one. Also available is the GN205S Single Lever Paddle. This key also has a heavy chrome base, black paddles, and spring tension. Finally from GHD is the GN207BK semi-automatic bug. Like its siblings, this key has a heavy chrome base and uses a single lever paddle. New from VE2DX is a hybrid RF sense and PTT transmit and receive switch. This switch can be controlled automatically by detecting RF from a transmitted signal or manually from a PTT line. The TR Plus switch is designed to ground the antenna on an SDR receiver when it senses RF or a PTT line on your transceiver, protecting the SDR from damage. These switches can also be used on other receivers as well. The switch covers from 50 kHz to 1.5 GHz, has more than 80 dB of isolation, and will handle up to 100 watts of RF. VE2DX also offers the SDR1 TR switch, which has similar specs, except that it covers from 50 kHz to 172 MHz. Also from VE2DX is a multi-stage, multi-layer EMI and RFI filtering system. The EF2 is designed to eliminate RF interference and external EMI interference, ensuring that your equipment operates on clean DC power. The filter uses quarter 20 input and output connections and has a shielded aluminum enclosure. This filter is rated from 9 to 18 volts DC and can handle up to 65 amps. VE2DX also has the EF1 EMI and RFI filtering system, which is similar to the EF2, except that it is rated at 45 amps and uses power pole connectors. Moonraker has five new SWR power meters. The SW20 covers from 1.8 to 200 megahertz and is switchable from 0 to 15 and 0 to 150 watts. The meter has a cross needle display and has a small form factor and is 3.35 by 3.425 by 3.75 inches and weighs just under 10 ounces. The SW20 can also be connected to an included 12 volt cable to backlight the meter. The SW40 has a similar form factor, but covers from 140 to 525 megahertz. It has the same power rating, size, and weight as the SW20, and also includes a 12 volt power cable for backlighting. The SWR200 has a larger form factor and covers from 1.8 to 160 megahertz. It uses a single sweep style meter and has four power ranges of 5, 20, 200, and 400 watts. The meter will display average, peak power, or SWR. It can also be illuminated by attaching the included 12 volt power cable. The SWR200 measures 6.1 by 2.48 by 4.05 inches and weighs approximately 1.6 pounds. The SWR400 is similar to the 200 in size, weight, and features, but covers from 140 to 525 megahertz. Moonraker also has the SWR1000 dual input SWR and power meter. This meter covers four band segments of 1.8 to 160 MHz, 430 to 450 MHz, 800 to 930 MHz, and 1240 to 1300 MHz. It also has four power ranges of 5, 20, 200, and 400 watts. The meter displays average, peak power, or SWR. A unique feature of this meter is that there are two sets of connectors on the back, one set of SO239s for 1.8 to 160 MHz, 
and one set of end connectors for the UHF band segments. Lido has several new mounts, including the LM300 heavy duty seat bolt mount. This mount is a dual joint mount that includes a four hole amps plate that is compatible with the Lido adapter plates, allowing for mounting things like transceiver remote heads, HTs, speakers, iPads, and phones. The LM802 Deluxe is a heavy duty cup mount holder. It can fit most cup holders and can expand from 2.5 inches to 3.75 inches. The LM802 comes with an amps plate, which will work with many remote heads, and also with a 6 inch by 2 inch extension plate, two mic holders, and the double T amps plate. Finally from Lido is the LM Base EXT03. This is a heavy duty metal desk mount that can hold your control head along with your microphone. It can be extended upward from seven and a half to nine and three quarter inches. The extension plate can also be disconnected from the base and easily moved to other Lido mounts. This mount includes two microphone mounts that will work with most types of microphones. Alpha Antenna has a remotely tunable mag loop that covers 40 through 10 meters. This antenna is rated at 100 watts on sideband, 50 on CW, and 25 on digital. The loop is approximately 3 feet wide, has an 8 foot circumference, and is built to withstand the elements. It mounts on a mast up to 1 and a quarter inches in diameter. It includes a remote matching unit, 50 feet of coax, 50 feet of remote control cable, and the mounting hardware. This loop is also small enough to fit inside many attics with asphalt shingles. Alpha Antennas also has a portable version of their loop as well. The MCOM loop not only covers 40 through 15 meters, but it also works on 2 and 440 as well. The loop includes a two-piece mast, three tripod legs, tuning box, BNC adapter, and can be mounted on a surveyor's tripod. It also includes a quarter 20 adapter so that it can be mounted on other tripods as well. This antenna is perfect for balconies, desktops, poda, soda, or even your backyard. Also available from Alpha Antenna is the Hextenna Basic Multiband Rigid Dipole and Vertical Antenna. This antenna can be configured either as a dipole on 40 meters through 70 centimeters or as a vertical on 20 meters through 70 centimeters. It's resonant on each band and can handle legal limit on single sideband. Included with the antenna are two 17-foot whips, the Hextenna hub, two 18-foot 40-30 meter clip-on wire elements, a 31-foot counterpoise, mass mount, and a carrying bag. This is a five pound package that fits in a 24 by four and a half inch pack. The Hextenna is also available as the deluxe model and includes the surveyor's tripod. Alpha Antennas also has the HF j Pole Jr. At 34 feet long, this antenna covers 80 meters through 6 meters, is rated at 250 watts sideband, 125 watts CW, and 25 watts digital, and does require a tuner. This antenna can be configured in a number of different ways, including a sloper, half square, inverted V, and inverted L. Along with the j Pole Jr. is the j Pole Senior. This model is similar to the Junior, except that it's 60 feet long and covers from 160 through 10 meters. Another antenna from Alpha Antenna is the Low Profile Light HF Base Vertical. This antenna is unique in that it has a 17 and 3 quarter foot tall telescoping whip vertical element, along with a 25 foot horizontal wire element and an 8 foot grounded counterpoise wire. This antenna covers 80 through 10 meters and is rated at 250 watts sideband, 125 watts CW, and 25 watts digital. Alpha Antennas has a unique way to enhance your signal on your next POTA or SOTA activation. The Hextenna is a two element portable beam that covers from two to 20 meters and will handle legal limit. This antenna uses four 17 and three quarter foot telescoping whips, which are mounted on a four foot boom. The kit includes the stainless steel whips, a four foot boom, two hubs, a mass mount, and a field bag. This antenna is also available as the Yagi Deluxe model and includes a five and three quarter foot tripod and mast, guying adapter, three aluminum stakes, and guy rope. 
Another antenna from Alpha Antenna is the UV6. This is a tri-band 6, 2, and 70 centimeter vertical antenna. The UV6 is just over 8 feet tall and features a fiberglass weatherproof enclosure with overlapping outer shells that provide for added strength, durability, and watertight construction. This antenna is rated at 150 watts, has a wind rating of 112 miles per hour, and is rated at 2.1 dBi of gain on 6 meters, 6.2 dBi on 2 meters, and 8.4 dBi on 70 centimeters. And finally, from Alpha Antenna is the Vertitenna Portable HF, VHF, and UHF vertical antenna. This antenna covers 20 meters through 70 centimeters. And it's rated at 1200 watts sideband, 600 watts CW, and 300 watts digital. The kit includes a 17 and 3 quarter foot telescoping web, two 14 and a half foot counterpoise wire elements, a 10 inch ground mounted spike, and a carrying bag. And that wraps up another What's New at DXE. As always, check our website to make sure that the products you're interested in are in stock. Hey, thanks for watching today. I'm Michael, K-I-8-R, and we'll catch you on the next one.